So go into the controls tab to see what I can edit. You can see I've got three drop zones and there's some text called www.motiontemplate.co.uk. That's at the top here. And then there's three text box, text one, two, and three. This is these objects here. So for start, you might want to get rid of the motion template text at the top. So you can just select it here and delete it. Just click out of the text box. That's that gone. And then you might want to change some text. So I could type car one in here, just like I did before. Now the thing to know is that although I've changed it here, this says text one, whereas this says text three. So text three must be at the end. So if I move along a little bit, you can see that now it says car one. So if I scroll down a bit, you'll see text one. This is all to do with the order that you leave them in motion. So if I wanted to change this drop zone, I just need to drop a piece of video in. I'm gonna come up to my browser, choose import, target my movies folder and bring a movie in and just drag and drop it onto the drop zone and it will replace it here. I can drag this along and drop it on all of them. That's it, that's updated. Now you don't have all the control you do in motion. If you scroll down in the controls we know you can see really all I can do is change the text, the text tracking and size and change the drop zones but I don't have access to anything else. If I wanted to change this I wouldn't have to go back to motion and open it. I can do it directly from here. So if I right click on the file in the timeline and choose open in editor, I could then choose F5 and I can make some changes and then choose save and that will update in Final Cut Pro.